Welcome, everybody, to a special unboxing of the Night of the Nerdy Laser. I am Richard Yule. And I am Jeff Lown. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that so weird, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, uh, why did I? So this is an unboxing of Ghostwatch from 101 Films. Uh, if you don't know what Ghostwatch is, it's from 1992. And it's terrific. Yeah. So... Um, we both got our copies, so it's like a dual unboxing. Mine is already out of the plastic because I'm awesome and Jeff's not. Where am I going? Huh, huh, huh. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck here. Uh, okay, so Ghost Watch. Man, I mean, I'm telling you, this is less than $25. Yeah. It's one of the nicest sets you'll ever pur purchase. Yep. Empty I mean, case. We got your movie here. Whoa, s slow down, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> comes in a DVD case, pretty normal, pretty standard. Um, you know, nothing too special on the inside. Um, yeah, but cool, it does though. come with some extras. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's cool. Uh, it does I, come with some extras. Yeah. Um, you want to show off some of the physical stuff, and then I'm a, I just wanted to kind of read the stuff they threw onto the disc itself because it's technically a special edition, I think. So, yeah, well, and if you don't know what the movie is, so Ghost Watch is awesome. I've loved it for a few years now when I was first introduced to it. it, used to be on Shutter a long time ago. Um, it's kind of what War of the Worlds did for radio, yeah, um, it did for like uh. English television. Uh, this was aired in 1992, and it, but it it had the it, their host was uh, Michael uh, Parkinson, Is the actual the host guy? of the news, right? Yeah that that was the movie guy. That was the news guy, right? I think so. I'll look it up real quick. So, um, um so he's he's a very uh, prominent news person. In BBC. You're right. So, yeah. so, um, so he's the host of this and it's acting like it was live, even though at the beginning of the film it said, um, a BBC production or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It basically said it was a movie. Um, oh, it was the BBC dramas screen one series. I mean, and that, that's what it was a part of, but people still kind of bought into it. Um, it's basically a new studio and these people are, um, doing a, uh, haunted house yeah, uh, from London and, uh, it's really great. I highly recommend it. You should give it a shot. Uh, okay. So the first thing I have is, um, basically the script. So yeah. it comes in this book. Uh, it's a really good quality book. Uh, I mean, my only gripe, there's nothing on the spine, so that's kind of lame. Um, but it's fine. Uh, but, you know, it's got cool, cool cover and then just, uh, you know, different. Uh, yeah, they got some uh, script notes and yeah, drawings script. and. That's so pretty you cool. can read through that. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah cool. it's pretty. Uh, what else? And it see? says like it, if you're a nerd about this stuff too, it has like little um, uh, damn it, what do they call that? Drawings. The drawings. Of the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, storyboard. But I forget what it's called. Storyboard. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then it's got like um script that was taken out. So if you're a nerd about stuff like that, you'll love that. Um, you'll love that part of it. Um, I really don't. What the hell is this? So this is. So uh, this is like a nicer essays. book too. Yeah, this is their essay about the film. I don't know who wrote uh, it. Let's see. Um, Stephen. No, no, no. Extra sensory perception management by Sarah Appleton. Sarah Appleton. Yeah. Hmm. So it's just essay on probably the show. I haven't got to it yet, but I think it's the show, kind of like the history of it. And I think that might be listed on the back here. Um, where is it? I mean, it seems cool. 
Yeah, it's, it's uh, basically it. a as it happened kind of thing. She wrote about it and like its cultural significance and all that too. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then we got these little uh, lobby cards. I guess I'll take these out. Okay. Um, I was trying to do it without breaking the seal, but I guess I should because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I just want everything to be so perfect. Um. All right, so so basically just lobby cards in that same kind of art style that's on the front. Um, this is the main guy, I think, right? The main news guy. Um, uh, he's not the older guy. That's oh no, he. This is the main guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the other guy was the on-site reporter, right? Yeah, and they're also real reporters, I think. I think so. That's crazy to get like your whole big <laughs> news company in on the thing with them. Like, that's wild to even think it that that happened. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's really cool, man. It's a really um, cool set, and I think there because really there hadn't been a, a release stateside of this um, ever. It was no, only I mean, I've digital. I've looked for it. I've looked for it since I saw it on on Shutter. Mm -hmm. and I've never been able to find it. By the way, where did you buy yours from? I I got mine on Amazon because I got a gift card for Christmas. So. <laughs> Don't support so, them. No, I know. Um, no. So I got mine from Orbit DVD. Yeah, because they're much awesome. Better choice. And um, eh, it is what it is. Um, I just I was on my Christmas list. I didn't get it, so I wanted to to. Uh, I, I ordered it the day, well, Christmas Day I ordered it. Um, I'll show two other things I bought from Orbit DVD. Uh, the novelization of Carnosaur. Um, <laughs> they've re-released it, so it's pretty cool. Cool cover. Um, yeah, if so. you like Carnosaur, go watch our uh, <laughs> trash talk on it. We ha on the YouTube channel, we have a, a version of Carnosaur on there. Uh, actually, no, we don't. We don't have Is that it. the one we got that we lost? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our pilot episode. It's the pilot episode we're gonna, that I can't we're gonna, get. We're going to find that. We're going to find yeah, that. Eventually. Uh, and then I've always wanted this book, and I've always wanted to read it. I doubt I'll read it because I don't read. But <laughs> uh, who censored Roger Rabbit? It is what the book is, um, what the movie's based on. So the yeah. movie who framed Roger Rabbit, it, it's, it's ultimately the same thing. Um it's just it was always called Who Censored Roger Rabbit, but then they changed it to Who Framed. So, mm. um, GaryWolf.com, uh, you got Jessica Rabbit in there, um, and you got like a live action Roger Rabbit, and it says a mystery down at the bottom, just in case <laughs> you can't figure that out. Um, there was a uh, oh, this is kind of cool in here. I mean, I'm guessing it's just a print, but it's. It's Roger Rabbit, and it says Gary Wolf, and that's cool. I'm guessing it's just you know not original, but whatever. Uh, so that was my grab from OrbitDVD dot com. You can go there and order some really great stuff. So thanks for uh, watching this Ghost Watch unboxing, and we'll probably do this again uh, sometime. Yep. See you guys. Yeah. Bye. Keep it bloody. Somebody has to. <laughs>